Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my week three wrap up for February Fantasy Stories, which is a reading event going all through the month of February to read short fantasy, which was created by the Bookish Bryants. And I'm lucky enough to be able to co-host with a bunch of other great channels, which are all linked down below. And week three was Dark Fantasy Week. And this has been my favorite week so far. I do love dark things. <laughs> and so this was right up my alley and I loved everything I read. So let me tell you about the anthology and the short novella that I read for Dark Fantasy Week. First, I read No Rest for the Wicked by Dane Cobain, who also has a booktube channel and I will link that down below as well. And No Rest for the Wicked is a novella about a world in which dark creatures called angels have come into a world just like ours. These creatures live off of feeding off the sins of others. So if people tell them their sins, they get stronger from that. And they are not nice. They are distributing justice to many. And nobody is safe because everybody sins. It was a wicked little book. Very dark, uh, very religious in themes. It's up to this priest to take on the angels and he has a dark secret in his past and of course everybody sins. So he's not safe, but he has to come up with a way to combat these angels. There were also scenes that had depictions of the Large Hadron Collider. I think that's what it was working. Um, very cool. I've always found the Large Hadron Collider really interesting, so I I like those scenes. And I think it was not clear how that um, had to do with the angels, but I'm thinking that it created a way for the angels to come into the world. Dane, let me know if I'm on the right track there. It was a great, fast, fun, and creepy, scary story. And I'm glad that I finally read it. Because I, I picked it up, I believe, in 2018. And he wrote it in 2015, so it was about time. <laughs> and I was not disappointed. The other thing that I read for week three, Dark Fantasy, was an anthology called Grim Dark Grimoires, a dark fantasy anthology edited by A.A. A. Medina and was put out by Aphotic Realm. And Grim Dark Grimoires had nine short stories in it and I loved every single story. Apparently dark fantasy is uh, right up my alley. <laughs> or this was just really good anthology. No misses. The first story was called One Night at the Valley Rose and it takes place in this small town saloon and two men come in saying that they had killed a weird creature on their way there and tell the people in the bar all about it and ends up having to do with a curse that's on this town. Then there was a Harbringer Bell by Owen Morgan and this was about a town where if you hear the bell you need to take cover, uh, find shelter, because anything out in the open um, always dies. 
and they have to put all their livestock and animals into barns and the barns are not 100% safe from whatever it is that comes when the bell chimes. There's a man in town who does not believe in the supernatural and thinks that he can stay out and uncover whatever it is that is doing these horrible things when the bell chimes. Third story was Bound by Blood by Mandy Jordan. And this was a really cool supernatural story about the strained relationship between vampires and mages that were bitten and turned immortal by vampires. So it's these two factions, vampires and immortal mages, or mages turned vampires, so they are also magical. And they cannot get along because the mages are trying to protect the human not turned mages that vampires tend to go after. So that was a very cool story and a cool premise. Then The Risen by Rob Francis is about this castle that's under siege and they're way outnumbered and things are hopeless. So they decide to unlock the catacombs underneath the castle as a possible means of escape. And those catacombs were locked for a reason and it's all about what they find down there. It's very, very, very good. Then Who the Gods Worship by Joseph Louis Sabo III is about a, a battle between a sorcerer um, and his exiled necromancer daughter. Mm. And then Vigil of the Ageless by Kevin Kaufman was following these men that are destined to roam the underworld forever, uh, killing and keeping reanimated corpses at bay that have been raised by a lich and they're trying to keep the lich from getting control of the regular world. So they had to leave their families behind and it's their stories thinking about their real lives and just stuck down here forever, not aging, but not being able to live either. Then the demon of Brana Keep is about a demon that kills most of a family on a farm and then a survivor from that family goes to confront the demon in its keep. And this keep is full of riches and he's thinking he's gonna get a bunch of treasure and kill the demon and goes from there. Fireborn by Tevis Skodra follows a blacksmith and his son who are on the run and you piece together why they're running and we find that someone is after the son. And then Apocrypha by Ian e. Dahl was about a sister from a magical family that goes off looking for her brother who has been presumed dead because he's been gone for months and she has she is determined that he's alive and that she can find him and then she finds out what dark fate found her brother every story had great characters with interesting relationships with 
the other people in the stories, magic and curses and all the dark things. And I just gobbled up every single story. I love them all. And I would love to read more stories like this. Dark fantasy is my thing. So that's what I read for Dark Fantasy Week. I hope that you found some dark fantasy stories that you enjoyed as well. Um, are you interested in reading either of these books I talked about today? I'd like to hear about it down in the comments and I'll be back very soon with another book related video. Thanks. Bye.